Hey everyone, here are my mom tips that I wanted to share with you all. I'm sure I could have thought of more, but these are basic ones. Um, something that I just realized recently, my baby boy is one. Hold your baby or toddler at the knee to lift up their butt for a new, I, new diaper. If you grab their ankle, it may mess up their ankle and create a goofy foot, which can be straightened just when they start walking or with corrective shoes. But anyways, that's something that I wish from the beginning I would have been lifting him up by his knee. <clears throat> so watch out for that. Um, give them a toy for diaper changes that helps them to not be as antsy if it takes a while. If your son, which I noticed this more with my boy, my girls didn't do this, but if your son wants to be on his tummy, change him with him on his tummy or try the standing up method. It is interesting. It's where they're standing up in front of you and you just wing it <laughs> You figure out how to put a diaper on while they're standing up. If you are tired, eat ice cream. Don't overdo it with coffee or soda. It will make you less nice. It's something that I observed about myself. Um, chocolate ice cream especially, and especially if you have a headache, which comes from being tired. Um, yeah, watch out for the caffeine though. You don't wanna overdose on the caffeine. But I feel you on the tired thing, cause I, yeah, cause you get woken up at night, so it's hard. Lay down when you can. Um, for my son, I give him a bottle and put on Blippi on YouTube, and that really helps. And then I lay down while he's laying down having a bottle. And usually I write a poem or watch the short videos on YouTube or something like that. That's nice. It's like a break. Coffee break. Uh, go outside twice a day for a walk or pool time if your kid is old enough. Obviously, they have, like, splashy pads for the younger kids. That are, that's great. Um, anyways, I really recommend in the afternoon and in the morning. It's good to go out in the morning. Just, I don't know, wakes you up. And then in the afternoon, it's good because it gets them ready for bedtime and more sleepy. So that's good. Um, watch Blippi when the child is grumpy because Blippi makes people laugh and he's funny. Um, rock, the, rock your child to sleep with music on YouTube. Obviously, it's good if you have a rocking chair or a swing. Or you can do this in a stroller, just pushing it back and forth. Run a fan at night in their room. They might sleep through the night. It circulates the air and muffles the sound of any adult snoring. Also, noisemakers are good, but sometimes babies don't like the sounds on the noisemaker, so I think a fan is the best thing. Plus, if it's hot, if it was hot during the day, their room will probably feel kind of hot at night, so a fan is ideal. But don't have it blowing directly on them. Just have it blowing, like, in the room. Um, if your child won't drink a bottle, go for a walk outside, especially if it's hot. That will make them thirsty. And don't get frustrated if they won't drink a bottle. Just go outside. <clears throat> Good luck to all you fellow parents out there. I know it's difficult. May God bless you. I'll say a prayer for you. Dear God, I pray for all my fellow parents out there that they won't be overstressed and that you will help them to have peace and to remember to take breaks and have bath time and have times of rejuvenation. And I pray that they will maintain a hobby that makes them happy like writing and like writing poems and um i pray that they'll ask for help when they need it from family members or their spouse or whoever whoever's living with them <laughs> that can babysit if they need it and uh god i pray that they'll focus on you as their only help as their true help as their best help and i pray that they'll watch Stephen Furtick sermons on youtube because he's great good job Stephen Furtick I don't think you would be watching this. But. <laughs> Anyways, God loves you all. Good luck with your parenting. God bless. Bye.